Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 11. It is the 12th of July, 2019. I am Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. I am Callum, and I play a human sorcerer called Eric Greenwood. Well done. <laughs> Hi, I'm Adrian, and I play Arya, who is the half-elf druid. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing a half-orc uh, paladin named Crumbar. Hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half-elf monk. Perfect. And we'll have a Sophie at some point soon, hopefully. Uh, right. Uh, what does everyone remember from last time? Nothing, because I wasn't here. <laughs> what does everyone want to uh, tell Scott about last time? <laughs> I've got quite nice bracelets. made the wrong decision uh, of taking Aramos to a library. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine that going down well. He enjoyed it. The books, yeah, still alive. Well, still in one piece. They really <laughs> if well the alive, books probably. are alive, then that yeah. is a very bad. He vandalized the place. What? He did actually. Uh, yeah. He put his initial on the floor. Oh, you're kidding! <laughs> Luckily, he wrote it with ink in his hand, just before you get any yeah, ideas. He just randomly, like <laughs> you know, touched his finger to the floor, made the letter E, and then it stayed there in ink, hmm. as Aramos does. It's kind of his thing. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the the party mostly learned, did some research about the abyss. To be honest, um, and by the party I mean Kitty and Reach did that, and then oh, yeah. Adri, uh, sorry not Adri, sorry Arya even, sorry your character's name, Arya went uh, looking for Eremos who ran into the the stacks and stacks of books, uh, and then she got herself distracted by a book. Um, we then had a uh, Reach who no, not Reach sorry uh, we had a uh, Adric. Eric, 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 Eric. <laughs> wow. There's a D. Yeah, right. No D. Sorry. And uh, <laughs> Eric, he uh, he had an interesting encounter with uh, the lore keeper of the library, which was interesting. Yes. Not really much more to say other than was handed a strange book and then slowly yeah, electrocuted himself. Then, <laughs> yeah, he then <laughs> stole it, but then was given it. <laughs> so. <laughs> It's all you, good. How do you elect to Almost killed himself trying to open it. He did it a lot, but yeah, held the book then, casted a wizard spell, well, a sorcerer spell on himself. Yeah, a I didn't cast it on himself, the Peter cast it on me. <laughs> well, you were holding the book. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. yeah, so Kitty <laughs> left the implication that primal magic was tied to why this book couldn't be opened. And. One er together, zap it. Yeah, Eric starts where? Primal magic, you see. Lightning, you see. Nobody said this. <laughs> and then, uh, so you, you tried to basically lightning a book. Open. Tried to lightning a book open. Yeah. And funny enough, the, well, the book lasted longer than him. I mean, <laughs> really? like, I, I guess technically Kindles run off lightning, so I can see a logic <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> The great god of knowing many books at once. Kindle! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Nonsense. But yeah, so. Yeah, I'm trying to think what else happened. Just have crafts again. People hear me better now. No, you're a yes. lot louder. Oh, Let yeah, me go adjust you back to loud. where you were. That's okay. okay. Yeah, let me put you back to where you were. You're supposed to be basically with a book. <laughs> Adri, can you speak more? Yep, yep, I can definitely do that. That's perfect. There we go. Okay. Good, good. Right, so... God, that is just so... so visible. <laughs> 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 One thing I don't like about... Um, C as, like, the editor of, like, say, Discord, I wish he could mark things as spoiler, like, when it's been posted, if that makes sense. Like, after the fact. Because then I could just yeah. hide it from having to look at it. Um just going to scroll back down a bit so it hides it. Uh, right, so we've talked about what happened last time. I, I think for the most part it ended with everyone happily going to go do everything to do in the last hour before we're going to make a a march Yeah. at night. So Crumbar, the plan was to leave at night. Okay, um, so we're still in the 
uh, the Citadel. Golden the Citadel. Citadel yeah. Okay, so not that cool. No, but they've spent the day eating and researching mostly. Um, okay, let me check. Get my character sheet up. I want to check what I've got in my intro. In, in but inventory. before we do that, before we do anything actually in game, I want to talk about goals. So last time we completed the goal, gather intel on the abyss. Everybody got their XP. It's all been marked. So. Mm -hmm. What are we doing for next goal? We've got reach the abyss intact is the wording of the next goal. How do people feel about that goal? It's reach the dawn, but anyway. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I think getting there is going to be quite easy. I think it's the surviving bit that's going to be the goal. Yeah, I agree. Part. I mean, that's why it says Survive day one in the abyss. <laughs> <laughs> Seconds of I uh, stupidly closed down the game manager. Uh, our main goal really has become now a short term goal, which is just reach the abyss. So, um, so what's the thoughts? I mean, you can leave it as that if you I, want. I think main goal should be survive the abyss. Okay. What are other people's thoughts on that? It's a worthy goal, right? Well, survive in what context? Like, are we having yeah. a full party survive? Are we only having, like, what, at least one person live? I mean, let's put it this way, guys. So far, what we are hearing is people don't tend to return from the abyss. So even if we manage to return to say that at least like some of the party return that's still a really good goal to have just saying so return from the abyss because yeah. let's face it there is a chance one or more of us might die there if it's yeah. as scary as these guys these highly trained stupidly like basically well, army guys are like yeah people don't tend to return from there we don't have any knowledge of people returning from, from there the abyss is more likely to be three or four sessions then I know. It's also I know, more but that's to be a, that one could be a longer one. It's also more likely to be a hard goal, so... Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. We, that we could a, have a, a hard one. We could have that as a ma our main goal, and then we can ch ch just change our long-term goal then now. What's the thought, Sam? Uh, or would long-term goal be return from the abyss? And then main goal could be find out what's happening in the abyss. Sure. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Yeah. So right. our long term goal has became our main goal, and our mm -hmm. then which makes sense, right? That's yeah, yeah. moving up the chain. Yep. And then our long term goal is going to be return from you know return from the abyss. Yeah. Return from the abyss. Which I mean, I'm glad someone's editing this. Yeah. Good, good. Ow. There you go. Uh, so, this should be a way. I'm gonna make sure. If you wanted as well, you could probably merge all of this to just be the color, actually, couldn't you? Probably. Into one big cell and make it the color. I'm saying it like that's super easy to do, which I think it is if you know what buttons to push, but I, I just don't retain Excel knowledge. If you click all of that. People at home, uh, just, just bear with us, thanks. Technical difficulties. It's not even, it's, it's more just, uh, just difficulties, really. <laughs> just life difficulties. Um, That's why you're talking about, but you now just wanted the colour. Yeah, so like, now if you just, even it's if you, colour. see if you merge, but do it yeah, as merge. both levels. So it's the one big cell. It is the one big cell. 
It's not. It's only on. Oh, height as well. You mean? Aye. Yeah. So too tall. Yeah. May as well do that with these ones as well, if possible. It's going to mess up. Uh, not been screwed over by the GM. No, you can get rid of that. It doesn't need to be there. That's I unlikely anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I think that looks nicer, doesn't it? Let's get rid of this. But that's a true long goal. <laughs> yeah, but then you've got like the almost the true long goal, and then the goal formerly known as the true goal. Like, we don't. We... There we go. Somebody make that red. I don't see what the colours are yet. Yeah, it is top corner red. So that should be this one. There we go. Yeah, I think it looks nicer, doesn't it? Yeah. Good. <laughs> okay, dokie. So, main goal is find out what's happening at the abyss, and then the long term goal. It is returned from the abyss, so we'll see. Do if we, we need a difficulty column then? Can we just get rid? No, we 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 want that. He's want that. You mean this or this or that? That can go. That can go. Or if you move that actually down to there, maybe. Yeah. Just delete it. Get rid of it. Yeah, <laughs> that works. Means you have to look at less of the screen. I love how earlier I was like, do we have any admin to do? And then everybody said no, and now I found admin for us to do. Brilliant. Nice um, do you want to change this this line here to be that? Technically, we didn't have it to do. You know, you had it for us to do. Mm. Yeah, it's it's what happens. Um, what I meant by that. Uh, it wasn't to match this, it was just to put completed as its own page break line. Go ahead. Control Z. There you go. So, move this all back down so there's a space. And then put completed along the top. What, in the long box or the short box? A or B? Long box. Aye. There we go. And then that way we've got the the brick. And it saves having to keep straight. Yeah. Sort of yeah, that's I think it's easier to look at at a glance now, which is nice. Um Right. Uh we've got our goals set if everybody's happy with what we've got so far. Mm-hmm. Good good. Did we settle on who was gonna be nobody? All of us judging by that Excel spreadsheet. Uh, probably, it seems. Uh, right, so. Session 11. Two more. Cool. Right. Uh, right. So, I may as well just wait a tiny bit for a... There we go, perfect. Do you want to do your intro, That's Sophie? Sophie? Uh, uh, yeah, um, Sophie, I think it's the kill. I'm a tabaxi rogue. Hey. Excellent. <laughs> we've, we've, just, we've, just, we've just finished uh, goals. Without the side character sniffles this time, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine today. Excellent. Um, we've just done goals. Uh, we are... The main goal is find out what's happening at the Abyss. Yep. And the new long-term goal, because that used to be the long-term goal, the new long-term goal is return from the abyss. Which felt worthy, considering how much you read about that not happening last time. Yeah. So, that is us currently. And we're actually literally about to start the game, so well well done. That well, was timing. <laughs> Perfect timing! So, you've got an hour to kill in the Golden Citadel before you are leaving for your trek towards the abyss. You have a fairly big decision to make as a group. What, what's the big... Oh, yeah. So, yeah. 
do we take Crumba? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Harsh. Um, right, where did you guys go see after the training room? What did you guys do? Because she's all left. I went for food. Yep, I think so. Yep, that makes sense. So you all... sat in the room. Right, so you went to the room. Uh, I think, oh yeah, because I think you went to go and read over your book, did you not? I tried to bring it away to open it. Yeah, and Eremos went with you with his bag of inks, and he's just kind of been doodling on the bed across from you, I think. Yeah. Yep. Uh, where did I find everybody else? So where does uh, Arya, Kitty, and Reach, and Crumbar go? Well, Dude. where was I currently? You're in the Golden Citadel. <laughs> you were well, at the training room, and they told us to leave. Uh, the head, so the guy came in and... Yeah, so, so head of the high, uh, like the head of hi, the high commander. That's the phrase I was looking for. High yeah, commander yeah. Gill, because I don't know if you were here for it, but I don't think you were actually. But yeah, Gill. We named him. It. Yeah. It's the high commander. Okay. Uh, and he uh, mostly because I realised he's asked that two sessions or whatever ago, and I was like, "There's no reason to not know that." Um, that makes sense, like knowing who your the bosses of your company is without ever having met them. Um, yeah. But yeah, so High Commander Gill said we're leaving at a uh, nightfall would be best if you can all be ready for then. Uh, he then actually healed uh, Calum's character for more than we thought. It was actually the 4 plus the 19. So it was uh, 23 total, the healing. Uh, nice. Which was pretty good. I forgot it was like a, a spell cast at a higher level. Thus it adds more. Uh, session 11 starts in the chat, there we go. So, Kitty went for food, Reach, Crumbar and Arya. What's happening? Food as well. Yeah. I think it'd be safe for all of us to go for food and also I would need to have a bit of a conversation with Eremos. Well, Eremos is away with Arya. I should be the person to... Oh, okay. Okay. Like no, you, not I'm to say that you can that you can go visit, obviously there, but just so you know, yeah. Eremos went with Eric because Eric went to go look at a book that might teach Eremos magic. So of course, <laughs> yeah. No, the the second that was uh, implied, I I kind of knew he was not going to just be my shadow anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, you missing him? I mean, if anything, he led her to a really awesome book of her own. So uh... yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's he's useful for something. I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, right, okay, so Crumbar, are you heading with uh, Kitty and Reach to the, the mess hall? Yeah, someone has to out eat all the food. <laughs> Good, okay. Uh, Arya, are you going to head to Eric's room then? Yeah, that sounds sounds best. Yeah, I think let's, let's focus there then. Let's say, uh, Eric, mm -hmm. what, what are you doing when Arya knocks on the door? Sat on the bed, staring at the book. Just staring at it, yeah. For, yes. Okay, dogs. Yeah, and there's a knock at the door. Knock, knock, knock. It's gotta be louder. I'm, I'm too entranced in my book. <laughs> <laughs> that was the weakest knock I've ever heard. Hey, I knocked on my laptop, okay? I kind of love that thing, okay. <laughs> I'll go over the door. Happy now? So yeah, he goes over, he opens the door. <laughs> <laughs> he did say that, I'm just repeating what he said, I'm not just GMing him <laughs> over to the door. <laughs> okay. A giant um, hand bursts through the ceiling, picks him off the bed, puts him <laughs> at the door, then just opens the door. <laughs> uh, open the door, what? look at Arya, and go, uh... You here for the kid? Yeah, I just thought I would uh, come and have a little chat with Aramos, given, you know, it. what we've learned. Um, so, I'm just going to be on my bed. You can talk to him. Sure, feel free to chip in whenever you'd like. Um, hi, hi Aramos, how have you been? And he's... Like kind of lying with like his feet facing the door, he's lying with his elbows uh, at either side of the book, and he's got his quill in hand. And there's like a bunch of ink bottles scattered over the bed, all kind of stoppered though. And there's one that he's got in his hand uh, that he's holding onto with the book in between his arms, and he's like face into the book. So yeah, he hasn't sure. even looked up. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so what I was thinking is, you do seem to love it here, right? 
And yeah, he's uh, scribbling away. Still. The library and everything. And I thought it might be best if you were to, um, to to wait for us here. You know, I'll need somebody to to take care of Ruya while we're away. And um, I'm also thinking that you you were so happy when uh, when you were in the library, and you didn't really seem to want to to leave it. So I thought, why why t take you away from your happy place? Um, that's so a, how about that then? That's a party decision to make. We might want to make that uh, make sure everyone's all right with us. I thought we'd kind of discussed it last time. That's the only reason why I was. I think at this oh, point, yeah. like Eremos, uh, like <laughs> jumps up off the bed and holds the book up really excitedly and goes, "It's finished!" Oh, hi, are you? He's um he's holding like the book open for you, uh, Eric. Oh. Oh. Do I know what this is? Can I decipher the scrollings of a child? It's a drawing. It's a drawing. What's the drawing of? You. you. A singed man holding a book. I'm guessing. It's um, yeah. like a picture of the book at the like the, the bottom <laughs> of the the page, and your hand on it, and like all like your cloak flailing up, and loads of like lightning and blue ink. So you've been drawing black ink, and then he's drawing blue ink all around you. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, it's as good as like a ten-year-old's likely to do. Do you know what I mean? But it's you basically electrocuting yourself. But you look dramatic. <laughs> and cool. I'm, gl I'm glad that's memorialised now. <laughs> and it's just a. Uh, it's labelled magic, and then it's signed with an E at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, that's the about it, about the extent of magic, Eremos. And he kind of looks a bit like disheartened, as if he was kind of hoping you'd have been more impressed with it than what you kind of conveyed. And then he's like, "I mean, I hope to learn magic better than you, though, because that looked so." Oh, I'm still learning. <laughs> it just can't just burn you. Everyone's burning me, even myself. <laughs> <laughs> the self burn is the the worst. Uh, yeah, so he kind of look, he kind of quietens up at that, and he kind of goes and sits on the bed. Um, and kind of like just sits the book in his lap and kind of just stares at the picture for a bit. He's not an artist. He's also not paying attention, so <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of like looking at him and looking at Eric and looking at the kid again and kind of like, you know, trying to imply, you know, some help here. You're his mum. I'm not his mum. <laughs> Reaches his dad. That's what I've seen. It's like a mother... Sun no! sort of going on there. Goodness. Closer. Yeah. <laughs> Still, we're, we're all kind of. <laughs> ha ha. Uh, Eros, okay. do you want to go to the abyss or do you want to stay in the library? And I think he looks up from like the book and he's like, um, what's. And he kind of like. He goes to like do his usual spiel of speaking, and he kind of just has nothing to say. And then he sits, he sits back on the bed, and like puts the book to the side of him and closes it over. And then uh, his feet do that thing where they kick off the the end of the bed a little back and forth. And then he's like, but like really dramatically overthinking face, you know, like um, mm, um. So you would have to... unlimited access to all the books here. Nobody would rush you, nobody would say, you know, we need to go now, or anything of the sort. How long are we going to the Abyss for? An eternity, maybe. How long's that? Forever. He said some things. It's <laughs> very difficult to say, which is why this might actually be be better for you and a lot more fun. Yeah, because you could die if you go over there. He kind of screws up his face like you've just told him that pigs can fly. Mm -hmm. I don't think he can die. I think we should bring him. <laughs> can I equip you. Aramos? <laughs> Can't you equip him? <laughs> you can buy him things. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he's kind of just sat there like, hmm, why are you being weird, Eric? 
I'm not being weird. I'm being me. Well, he's not saying that. He's just that's what is the look on his on his face. Um, oh, fair still, he said that. No, he's still debating whether the uh, <laughs> the trip to the abyss is going to be better than staying in a library full of books that he hasn't got time to read. Um, and he's like, if I stay in the library, mm-hmm. will you come back for me? Yeah, that's, that's, that's symbols, definitely symbols. our goal. That's that's definitely what we aim for. I mean. I need to leave Ruya somewhere, and I'd feel so much better if I knew she was being taken care of by somebody I can trust. And then, like, I think, like, you can imagine a giddy child is, like, really eager to, like, put their hand up, and they start to, like, fidget a bit, and he st- stands up, and he's like, I- I'm someone you can trust. And he kind of, like, See, I, I knew up. that. I, I, I did have a feeling that you would, uh, um, that that I could uh, entrust you with this, and you are the only one I would trust with this, though. And he quickly like grabs the book and then like goes back a couple of pages, and then holds it up to you. And it's a picture of you on the camel with like Ruya like m- about to land on your arm. Oh wow, that's beautiful. And he looks so happy that you're saying that. <laughs> he is like was overjoyed to the point where Eric could have left the room and he would not have noticed. <laughs> Thank you, Aramos. That's very pretty. Yeah, okay. Pretty pictures aside, shall we go get some? And I, I kind of, I kind of give, uh, er- I kind of give Eric a look, kind of like, and this is how you react when a kid bothers to take a to make a drawing of you. <laughs> <laughs> so I give him a bit of a weird look, kind of like, this is what you should have done, sort of thing. I think your picture is just called Birdie. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fine. Birdie. Birdie. <laughs> yep. Uh, so, do you? What do you do after this? Like, do you? S- you know, do you give them Ruya? Do you s- go outside? Do you s- go back to the others in the mess hall? What's the plan for you guys in the room? Do we get noms? Well, I think all of us would ideally want to eat before this crazy sort of trip, but not in my case at least, not like completely stuff myself, mm-hmm. because if there's any danger... How close are we to what they call abyss, to be honest? About are we literally like at the edge of it, or are we having a somewhere long between to do before we get there? 25 to 40 miles away. To like the edge of the abyss. Okay, so technically I could have a really proper hearty meal and then mm-hmm. like walk off that energy or whatever. Yeah means of okay cool because i was gonna be like you know if if it's quite close then i wouldn't stop myself because then i'd be struggling to move and everything (laughs) you know food Mm -hmm. Mm coma okay so yeah totally eating like there's no tomorrow then right okay so eric are you heading to the the food place i think you said as well yeah what do you want to do with eremos are you bringing he's bringing him to the food place or he's going to send him to the library you could tell him to stay in the room tell him to go find ruya what's the plan i mean if he's if he's hungry he can join us just saying, like at the moment, that's that's not. I think. Well, maybe actually, I... actually, I'm going to entrust the bird to him. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna be like, she's 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 good at taking care of herself. But if you can, uh, if you can keep an eye on her, I'm sure she'll. Uh, uh, I, I would really appreciate it. And like, can you put some? And his hand can out? I do a, like some sort of like animal handling thing? Oh, I can speak to her, right? I can mm-hmm. speak to Ruya. Yeah. I can speak to Ruya. Okay, okay. Pretty sure you can just talk to, to animals now. That's so, a thing you can just do, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I would, I would essentially ask her to trust him because I trust him. If this was some kind of comedic cartoon, it would do a double take. Um, but it's not. It's a very sensible game. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the confidence, guys. Um, yeah, like this is this is a human that can be trusted. Like mm-hmm. you know that sort of thing. I'd be telling her because obviously I'd expect her to be skittish around people still, even though. Oh yeah, because it is fine. a wild animal. Yeah. So um, people that aren't me would probably get her a bit skittish, but I'm like, no, you can trust him. Mm-hmm. And, like hold my hand up, like for for her to go to his hand slash shoulder slash I don't even know where she'd sit because obviously uh, it, with with my <laughs> dressing style and stuff she'd probably be fine sitting but either on my shoulder or on, on my arm no problem but mm-hmm. 
his clothing's a bit like. Yeah, he's just wearing a tunic, flimsy. right? So yeah. Yeah, his clothing's a bit flimsy, so I don't quite know what to do about that. That's fine. He'll he'll have um, to deal with that. Yeah, okay. speech of the woods. Are these claws are we trim? <laughs> It's Dude, fun. have you ever tried to give a trim to an animal that doesn't want to trim their claws? <laughs> Bloody hell, I wouldn't want that. <laughs> no thank you. <laughs> not, not a bird of prey either, no thanks. But yeah, yeah. like, do you want to give a... Let's see. If you're going to help him, I think he's going to make an animal handling check. Okay, yeah, sure. Did I even go to the effort of making a character sheet for him? If I click that... <laughs> I did. Whoops. What the fuck? <laughs> um, right, okay. So, if you're going to give him a hand, he can roll with advantage. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Right, okay, so let me see. Because I'm like, be a girl, 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 yeah, sort of thing, so obviously that would help, I think. <laughs> okay, so he gets Hold a 10. It. <laughs> it's fine. That's fine. Oops. I think it's obviously the exact situation yeah. where now you go on holiday and then you, you know you go into a shopping mall and then the, your two five and ten year olds get handed parrots randomly and then lots of <laughs> camera flashes go off in their face and then the parents are expected to buy the photos. Like I think that that mid panic shot of the child being handed the skittish bird as it flaps its wings and the kids like oh my god what's happening save me parents. Um, yeah, I think we've got that kind of reaction from Eremos at first, yeah. where, like, you go to, like, Ruya's on your arm, you put your arm next to his, and you says, okay, hold it this way, blah, 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 and he's, like, all excited and, like, puffed out chest, <laughs> and then he puts his little arm up next to you, and then Ruya just... And she's so heavy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So obviously, he's not holding his arm strong enough. And then obviously, heavy. yeah, and she like, gets a bit unbalanced. She starts flapping around. Exactly. She gets a bit freaked out. Yep. Perfect. I have the mental image of all yep. that happening. <laughs> yep. Perfect. I love it. Love it to bits. Also, uh, take inspiration uh, just for entrusting him with a uh, that almost like a look. Clearly, you'll need to look after Ruya. So yeah, I like that. Um, okay. <laughs> distracting child with responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't even remember how I like. So on your uh, sheet, uh, uh, see above your stats at the left. Uh, there's the little clicky box. It's just yes, a box. Yes, yes, yes. If you click, it's got a wee spiral I dragon. I remember now. So me on my sheet, character sheet, uh, inspiration. Tada! Yes, there dragon. Perfect. Cool, cool. And for those of you that don't or do remember, I'll just repeat anyway at this point. Inspiration is that thing that if you have it, you can spend it. You let me know saying, oh, I want to spend my inspiration. Uh, it means you get to roll advantage, which is rolling twice and taking the better result. It also can help if I'm saying you're rolling with disadvantage, you can spend your inspiration to bring it up to a normal roll to cancel sure. out disadvantage. Or if you think, okay, I really want this person to, to do this, I'm going to give them my inspiration. You can gift it to another sure. player if you think it's worthy. Mm -hmm. You can only ever benefit from one source of insp uh, sorry advantage and one source of disadvantage. So if I have ten things stacking disadvantage, it's still only ever rolling twice and taking the worst result, and only one source of advantage would can needs is needed to cancel that out. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So you've got plus one, minus one, in the middle of a zero, and that's it. It doesn't get any more complex than that. Sure. Um, okay, okay. Although I probably made the explanation more complex than I had to. <laughs> Right, so Eremos is um, going to go to like one of the balconies and just kind of practice a bit more, I think, because I think sure. uh, he's going to get super excited. See when she settles eventually, after that skittish, <laughs> oh god, why is this thing going to eat me? <laughs> I think after that, you know, you maybe help balance Roya, you calm, you calm her sure. down, and then he sits there and he's like, C can we go outside? Sure. So he goes off to like a balcony and uh, he's away okay. to try and like send her out and then call her back and basically he's away to play. Essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's fine. So yeah, you and Eric can uh, head towards the the mess hall where I think. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you? So we'll switch cameras. They're walking down to the mess hall. Do you have anything you just want to say to each other before Arya and Eric get there? <coughs> Besides that. Any secrets? Come on. Yeah. So Speak now. Forever hold your tongue. Crumbar, can you reach? You have a a Not good totally. maybe ten minute worthy of time if you wanted to. You don't need to. We can just skip to the part where everybody's together. Okay. I have a glug. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's I'm just glug. eagerly anticipating what they've made. Bit unwise, but definitely in character, so. <laughs> what was that, Katie? Sorry? 
I'm just anticipating what they've got for lunch or dinner, whatever time it is. Yeah, it's quite late, so it's probably a supper type thing, right? Um, mm. I don't even know where it would be. Uh, do you want to roll a d6 for me? Okay. Nice. Uh, it's um, <laughs> barbecued scorpions. <gasps> oh my god. That sounds amazing and disgusting at the same time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Exotically disgusting. <laughs> I kind of really want to try that. Um, so yeah, it's just <laughs> someone has went out, gathered a bunch of scorpions and just skewered them all. And they've just cooked them. So yeah. Yum. So that's what you've got. Can you imagine how many hundreds of scorpions would be needed for like people here though for every day yeah definitely <laughs> but this is only just um you know oh yeah just a light uh okay there wouldn't be a lot of people still hungry it's, by it's, now it's i get it a, i get just it just a light scorpion mm. <laughs> also we need to flash back a bit so while you are about to have food and such right we're gonna flash back to uh, reach which we both forgot it seems that we ended the session with you bastard. Oh yeah, I'm not here. <laughs> what? So yeah, Reach oh. isn't there. Reach went off to the monastery to spend, uh, like, to go say hi before he left. <laughs> uh, remember, Reach was raised in the monastery of the Golden Citadel. So he went there. Sorry, for some reason I was looking at the game. Just rejoin, it's fine. But yeah, so he, uh, he went to go meet uh, Blades of the Plains. Or yeah. Blade of the Plains, sorry. Which, the reason why I didn't bring that up is because I never actually wrote it on my notes because it's in my online notes for some stupid reason. Played of the planes. Yeah, and he was holding the, the broom and then he was like, you bastard. Because he was a dwarf. And that's how all dwarfs sound. Is that Bob the Dwarf? No, this is Blade of the Plains. This is Blade the Dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Played by Wesley Snipes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I guess you're in the doorway of the monastery, and he's just sweeping about. He had his back turned to you. You walk in, you're like, "Hello," <laughs> and then uh, that's when he turns around and goes, "You bastard!" Good to see you as well. What's up? <laughs> and he kind of just looks at you surly, like you know, looks like he's half chewing something as well, and then uh, he kind of swishes it about his mouth takes a couple of steps forward, like dragging the broom, so it just makes a horrible kind of half-hearted attempt at sweeping. And he just kind of slowly marches all the way up to you. And I mean, you're probably, what, at least a foot, at least taller than him, right? Because what height is reach? I think I'm quite a decent height, six foot something, I'm a be there, I don't know. Uh, no, 5'11", right, yeah. I was going to say, yeah, in fact, you're exactly off, because he's about, he's about 4'11", so yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so you're a foot taller than him, and he just like walks right up to under your chin, and just stares at you, and he says, "It's good to see you." Good to see you as well. Uh -huh. Hands you the broom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here for a short, for a short time. And you best sweep quickly. Uh, yes, yeah, that's. <laughs> yep, and then he just like marches away and picks up like a a pipe, and then. Bits whatever he was chewing into the end of the pipe and starts prodding it into it, and then uh, just starts puffing away. Huh. Mm. At some point in that, he's lit that. <laughs> yeah, it's hard of a worker as ever to see. Good. <laughs> and he start. He just like takes a good kind of puff on it, and kind of like that thing where you can almost see smoke coming from his ears, and he just kind of like relaxes a bit. And he's like. Well, I've had to do all the sweeping myself. No new initiates to help you? And he's like, all of them taken by the paladins. And he kind of like nods behind you as if there's an us and them vibe to the place. Yeah. Um, sure they'll come back from time to time like myself. There's lots of paladin work about though at the moment. And he just kind of looks at you like, hmm, dark days. He kind of just like narrows his eyes and you just see the puff of smoke kind of between them. 
Very Gandalf like, I guess. Spider esque. Mm, yeah, actually, yeah. Dwarf Strider. <laughs> um, here in Paladin work as well, so we're going off to. I keep sweeping, of course. Mm -hmm. We're going to the <laughs> Abyss. Sweep, yeah. sweep. It just like as you say that it just sits like a uh, on like the end of whatever is near him, like a crate or something, or whatever it is. Whatever is next to him, he'll just like plonk down on as if this is now my seat. And he's like starts rubbing like through his a. Uh, his... Plump down or jump up on it. Definitely kind of <laughs> plump down on like it's it does that thing where it does that very a uh, stereotypical sound effect of a creak as he sits on it, um, and then a. Uh, he starts kind of like scratching at his chin, and he's got like a, a braided beard in the middle, so quite a clean shaven face, but like he's got a, a beard that goes over his chin. It's a bit like a goatee that goes into a braid. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he sits there, kind of just like fondling that with one hand and like kind of almost like kind of waving the pipe a bit as if he's waiting to take a puff of it, but that never really happens because he seems to be stuck in the same thought process. Doesn't look happy. What what else is wrong? There's got to be more than just the paladins. Mm. Mm. He just kind of grumbles a bit, as if, yeah, there is, but it's very much a hmm. He stands up and he walks over to you and just takes the the brush from you, or the, the broom thing from you, and he kind of just like throws it to the side. And he's like, Who asked you to go? A lady called Celeste, and also the Great Gold Worm. Well, technically it was a Great Gold Worm. Yeah. He just looks a bit like, the fuck? He's like, it's been uh, seven or eight years since I've seen you. Not even a, a goodbye. Uh, Thought you'd run away until I was away. told otherwise. And he kind of like does that half turning away as if don't really want to see you, see me, feeling. <laughs> I was given an urgent mission, I had to go straight away. Uh, sorry, but yeah, there was nothing else I could do. And you're back again to say you're away again? Yeah, at least I'm back though. That's always make the most of what we have. Aye. And he kind of, no, like, you know, he agrees, like he's... I mean, he's smart enough to know that, right? He's like, aye, oh, that's... You deal with what's in front of you. Dark days, like you said. We're not in control of our own destiny, unfortunately. And you see, like... <laughs> I mean, he's, he's back to you, and you see the puff of smoke go up in front of him, and he turns around, and he's like... pulls the pipe out of his mouth, and he's like... Those look very nice. We're wearing jewellery now, are we? Points at your uh, wrists. Wrists, yeah. Yeah, more useful than cosmetic, but yeah, they do look very nice. Oh. Aye. Hopefully they'll uh, see you back here. Floors need sweeping. Room's the same. And he just kind of like busies himself and wanders through like to a back room. <laughs> follow him through. Keep, uh, well, f yeah, I haven't got my sweep anymore, but follow him through anyway. Yeah, because he just took the, the room and kind of like threw it to the side. Um, yeah. As if it, that was just pointless, you know, that was him trying to make a point. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and uh, he just wanders away uh, through the door. So if you want to hit like follow through, you can just see that he's doing what he can to just like leave you to it, if that makes sense. Um, unless you're shouting after him or asking him more questions or whatever. Nah, I was hoping he would volunteer some information, but he doesn't have any bit of sense. Uh, that or he's just I'll not willing to talk about it now, right? Yeah, yeah, well, no, but yeah. I'll see you when we're back. Head off. I thought he was going to answer much, so yeah. Yeah, I think um, you hear like something like fall over, like a crate hitting a floor or something, do you know what I mean? Um, and that's about it. Like just some grumblings from like a, a storeroom or something where clearly he's just moved something so he looks busy. And it's obviously fell because it wasn't supposed to be moved because he's pulled the wrong thing. And he's doing that thing to be like, oh, I'm, I'm busy, obviously. I can't talk to you just now, obviously. Uh, and then I think, um, do you head to your room? Do you turn to go? What's the plan? Oh, just 
turn to go. Mm -hmm. Turn to go. Yeah. So yeah, like as you start to like head away from the monastery, like you get to the entrance way and you like step outside and whatnot, and then you just hear him grumbling again. He's like, "Dawn's golden reach." You just hear from like the top of the steps of the monastery. Blade of the plains. And he just kind of like looks at you, does that anime thing where it cuts to his eyes, then cuts to your eyes, looking at him, and then uh, he just kind of nods solemnly, puts the pipe in his mouth. I'll see you when you're back. Yeah, small kind of half wave and off we go. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have that shot of maybe just you walking towards the camera and him in the background, Uncle Iroh style, just with the, the pipe in his mouth. Yeah. Uh, then do you like where do you head? Do you head to the mess hall? Do you head to your room? Do you go anywhere yeah, else? <laughs> Just go a wall, find a camel, get the fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a going north. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, you know a, you know a ship that's in need of a first mate. So, uh, mm. actually, it's probably getting about time anyway. So, no, I'll go back. Make sure I've got my equipment. Mm -hmm. So probably my room, yeah. Okay, okay. So yeah, I think at that point then we'll click back to the mess hall where we've got Kitty and Crumbar in the mess hall and then we've eaten scorpions. And then we've got Arya and Eric that head in. Glug. I want to go eat myself some scorpion. Mm -hmm. Crunch, crunch. Mm -hmm. I just think right now Crumbar would just be absolute stuff in his face and drinking as much as he could, just getting proper full up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Didn't mean you would. <laughs> Which is why that's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, I guess Arya might. This might be the <laughs> the best moment to explain to people the plan you have executively chosen. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, I was thinking about that just now. <laughs> Maybe yeah. you don't want to tell them. Maybe you just wait till you're all in a, <laughs> a, in a line no, ready to head off. <laughs> I think that would have worked perfectly if I was playing Kitty's character. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like, oh yeah, guys, by the way, you know, Rat random child. rogue decided to go roguish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, come to class, I, right? <laughs> Is this the plan <laughs> to not bring the kid along? Yeah, because uh -huh. obviously, you in character haven't specifically discussed what you are actually going to do. We've just talked about it as players. Yeah, um, we were we were worried quite a lot last year, last session, because nobody ha seems to have returned from the abyss in like recent times. And there was a bitchin library that they could totally and just lose Aramos like, into for ages. Yeah. Like, he, he was absolutely happy there and even put a little, you know, vandalism sign on the floor to know where he wants to return to. So, given all the, the dangers and all the, you know, scary stuff that we've been reading about. Also, leaving him in the Golden Citadel full of paladins is not the worst idea, right? Like, yeah. think how safe you would be. Yeah. Why yeah. do I have a feeling we're going to come back and he's just built a little fort out of books? <laughs> <laughs> so, this is my I home now. <laughs> <laughs> the place is trashed. <laughs> no, I'm more worried that every single available space and not available space, like, he's just, I'm, I'm just afraid he's going to fill the place with a lot of other books, like, you know, like the tower where we found mm -hmm. him in. Mm -hmm. Just going to be full of pictures Stop. of Eric failing at opening a book. <laughs> oh god. Slowly better and, and, and better yeah, artwork. Ele too. Electrocuting himself, that's the thing. Like, not just failing and opening a book, electrocuting himself. Because like. you missed that, Scott, last time where uh, Sunday mentioned that books are magical or can can be magical or fly around. And he's like, oh my god, books can teach you magic? What? And that became his, yeah. his moment. <laughs> mm hmm. So he's like, oh my yeah. god, these books could teach me magic? What books are those? Is this one of the books that can teach me magic? And then Eric's like, this is one of these books, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you head into the mess yeah. hall, I guess. Reach, if you want to have got back by now, that's you could easily have come back by now if you wanted to be in the yeah. scene too. Mm -hmm. That makes sense, yeah. just to get everybody back together. Yeah. Uh, and you've maybe like you went by your room and just made sure everything's ready uh, <laughs> to go. So uh, he's head to the mess hall, uh, he's all sitting yeah. down, eating scorpions. Yep. Nom 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 nom. 
who breaks the so, silence? Uh, uh, <laughs> probably everybody, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so as I sit down and like help myself to like you know fix a plate for myself, because um, I'm just guessing there's like food in the middle and you just put to a, your own plates. Um, I'm, I'm saying, oh, um, just to let you guys know, um, it looks like Aramos won't be joining us. He said he's happy staying here in the library and also taking care of Ruya. So that seems to be for the best. Because at the end of the day, everything that we've been reading and everything we've been we've been told is that we are going to this insanely dangerous place that people don't seem to come back from. So taking him with us cannot have have been a a smart decision, especially considering he's just a child. Are you sure it's safe leaving him here? Nobody's gonna harm him here, I would expect. Could he harm people here? Do they know what they're getting into? I mean, the well, thing is, you'd probably need to, like, just from a player point of view, like, Reach and Crumbar would at least be aware of this, given the conversation there with the High Commander. Okay. Especially Reach. Like, you specifically went out of your way to convince him to allow Ermos to go, which is fine. You have, yeah. b like, a combination of... We years. still need to convince them to let her leave him here. Right. I, I know. So, it's more of a, no, can you let him have that. free reign of this place, or would he be, like, a secured guest? You know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> because obviously yous were allowed in because yous were essentially signed in by yeah. two members of the Golden Order but that's just a conversation you'd have to have with the High Commander before you leave I actually can't remember, did we explain to the High Commander or to anybody what you have is. explained, I believe you explained the fact that uh, <laughs> dreams manifest I think you said to the High Commander yeah. uh, or yeah. Gil if you want to be familiar <laughs> But, but to be honest, they fought us on taking him with us, so obviously the other solution would have been leaving him here, right? Yeah. <gasps> or the GM's right, though, uh, pushing him out of the gates and closing <laughs> the. Uh, <laughs> closing oh come the... on! They wouldn't be. Do they wouldn't do that, right? Like I he's just that. a child. <laughs> yes, I know, Kitty. That's you. <laughs> 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 Meow. They're people of honor here, not like you. Oof. Oh, oh, oh. Not only the scorpions no, no, no. have a sting, eh? <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Quick, get your claws out too. Oh, oh. <laughs> They're always God. Damn. <laughs> well, aren't we hilarious? So yeah, that's just it's something that I think Re like Reach should have in your mind, where you would kind of need to get permission to let him have like free roaming of this place. But that's yeah. that's a problem you can bring up later if need be. Do you know what I mean that's yeah. No, I'm I'm aware that we we would have to arrange this, but I I honestly thought that Aramos is going to be the one that's hard to convince. <laughs> no, you literally went. Do you want to watch my bird and have a library? And he went, Yeah, I do. <laughs> 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 that sounds great. Go to a place I might never come back from, or have a library with unfettered access yeah. and a bird. That's awesome. <laughs> I, I I was hoping for that, but I didn't have the the. You know, I, I wasn't 100% sure. I mm -hmm. thought I would probably have to convince him and sell the idea to him a lot more because, you know... No, just it, the party. He, <laughs> let's, put it this, let's put it this way. He left behind his entire friggin' library of books that he wrote that he was very, very fond of um, to join us on an adventure. So I was afraid that the idea of an adventure would, you know, trump the idea mm. of a library. So that's why I was very much afraid that he would Mm -hmm. be um Reluctant. he, he yeah. would have to convince him to stay safe okay yeah so in light of this it does seem like we should have a conversation with the lord commander and probably also with the um, um with the lore lord keeper uh, lord keeper that, yeah. I knew there was a second yep. word there, and I can remember it. Yep, we've got the High Commander, because we've got a Lord Keeper, and the Quartermaster. <laughs> he, he'll definitely that. want to spend a lot of time in the library as well. And chances are he will be going straight for the books on magic. I'm just so gonna it might be a 
good idea to have somebody that knows we... magic keep an eye on him. I'm so he doesn't you burn down the place. Before we go walking off. Oh, he's already just sat at a table talking. He's already having food. Nobody's walking anywhere. Oh, right, okay, so I thought that was like, she, that's where she was going to go. Like, oh, let's Yeah, she, she might, but not yet. We're still yeah. at the table. So I've just kind of spoken, like, you know, dropped my scorpion. <laughs> uh, to, to um, Tail, probably. Nah, who am I kidding? I just wolf it down in one bite. Um, <laughs> my worry is that somebody will have noticed that he's not no longer in the in his house and well there will be people looking for him can we afford to let those people find him can you think of a place where he would be better protected and surrounded by more people with very very high developed skills I mean, if that's the worry, then I think he is safer here than he would be with us. True, but if it's the king's <laughs> men that are looking for him, I don't know what if the Golden Order can stop them. Yes, stop. but we wouldn't be able to stop them either. It's not like the king's men should, would be allowed to just waltz into the Golden City, though, right? I mean, is that a question you want answered by me, or...? Yeah. Yeah. General Ryan. history, then Eric. Oh, <laughs> That's uh, not really if I ever heard one. <laughs> like, oh no, rolling. Uh, not really, because I'm going to roll a one. <laughs> uh, well, the the current kingdom is founded by the Wizard King. He's in charge. He does not have jurisdiction over the Golden Order. And the Golden Order's boss is a god dragon. So you, th there's what you know. Yeah, so the, you, you wouldn't be able to come in without any some sort of penalty, I imagine. Like, it'd be... It would definitely rock a boat, put it that way. It would definitely rock a boat that maybe he doesn't want to rock. Exactly. And I hardly think that Golden Order... Even if you were a wizard, would you mess with the god? Also, yeah. keep in mind... If Aramos, the Black Fang Spear, is the thing Celeste sent you guys to get, and it is something the Wizard King wants, do you really think jurisdiction would stop him? No. Yeah, exactly. Wizard, it, it's, King of Wizards is just one step off a of god ruin. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it, it's, it's not something I want to really be li leave lying about. Will I just scrap my chapter 4 then, Scott? Will I, will I just scrap chapter 4? <laughs> <laughs> Joke. Why? What, what, what happened to chapter four? I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> Not yet, you don't. <laughs> um, yeah, so... It, it's... And I still think he's going to be used to us. I don't. I, I say we leave him here. Genuinely do. I'd like... If he's the weapon we're after, and we haven't... And he hasn't really shown any sort of powers that, like, he, he can control... He, he, he control. <laughs> yeah, but was he able to control him? No. <laughs> no, but you're not. Yeah, that's far. like a bad mistake. If he was trying to kill me, he managed successfully. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we should, you know, the whole kind of teach him to swim just by chucking him in the deep end? Maybe we should try doing that. Don't think that applies for this place. <laughs> and what evidence do you have to place that on? <laughs> <laughs> well, the fact that no one's returned for a Good amount of time. And did they have the Black Fang spear with them? No, but they did, also did. Did have they a have an angry control? ten year old child who's really curious? <laughs> no! <laughs> and currently neither do well, we. Did that <laughs> <laughs> you say bring the untrained child into the abyss? He's learning. He's learning. He can learn more if he stays. The be to be with us. Thing is the worst case scenario is the child dies and therefore no one has possession of this Black Fang Spear anymore which Celeste had made out was... Worst case scenario could be the Wizard King attacks the Golden Citadel, destroys yeah. everybody there and steals the Black Fang Spear back to himself. Exactly. And risks and risk the wrath of the, the Great Gold Worm. Here's the thing, right? Can... Let's see. 
Anyone who wants to, roll wisdom. Wisdom? Yeah, yeah. just the stat. Just wisdom, right? Mm -hmm. just oh. just, uh, Not a wisdom save, just wisdom. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, right, just, just wisdom. <laughs> I love that I'm not the only one, it's okay. though. I'm happy with that. Uh... So we've got... There we go. Okay. It was better, which is what? good. <laughs> oh my god! So... I rolled the exact same. Lucky. Uh, I would say Reach and Eric use... And Crumber. Sorry, Crumber as well. So... Yeah. Use three. Reach the same conclusion. Uh, F the Wizard King knows where the Black Fang Spear is currently. Sorry Ryan, could you repeat that? Somebody was calling me on Discord and I couldn't hear a thing. Yeah. <laughs> F the Wizard King knows where the Black Fang Spear is. How do they do that? And if they can, would it be limited to where they are now? Where would it be an information network? Like this guy told this guy that told that guy. Is it magic eyesight? It controls like, water, so it could mean? be I, tracking everything in the water. Right. I'm all. I, I'm assuming. So wait, 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 wait. Let me let me keep going. So that means that either your assumption, and I mean this for your character's assumptions, are that the Wizard King somehow knows you're at the Golden Citadel already. That's what you're assuming. Yeah. So there's their wisdom input there for me. Which user are basing that on currently nothing. I would I would base it off the I guess in the Wizard King has one of those like Sauron type hand And again, that's entirely so a palantir, and that's if you want that to be a thing like that you think, then cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Wizards have these things, right? Things that let you see things they shouldn't see because they're greedy Actually, wizards. There's a lot more logical thing about it. Captains mm. pay the wizard to have the sea go the direction they want. Yeah, but it's not like they just like slip him a fiver, you know? There you go, wizard mate. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, went where we wanted. Mm -hmm. I'm just able to uh, dock it, more or less. So, would it matter if you took the kid or not, if that's Reach's belief? If it, he would go to the Golden Citadel anyway? And then if the Golden Citadel say, no, we have no kid here, and then the King's Men go, no you do, and then trash it anyway? Do you see what I mean? That's why I was saying there's a... Whatever you, your character believes needs to weigh into your planning here. If that makes sense. My my fear is that if the, if anyone of the go, uh, anyone in the king's army has went to check on this kid, then I mean, you've killed people in the king's army. Yeah, we we have we have. <laughs> they they went down a river. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was a rumor. I <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> river. Um, yeah, my worry is that. There'll be attack, an, an attack on the Golden Order, and I cannot. Put, I don't want to put my order in danger. Not when they've been so good to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. How do you know they're not going to be in danger if folks stop though? I mean, they are parked next to the abyss. They're always in danger. They're that's always in danger, dangerous. but you know, mm -hmm. at least this is a danger that they know of, not the. Mm. Oh look, a random. Wizard King has shown up. Oh look, now we're all turned to sheep. He's brought his army, that's <laughs> nice of him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> gifts! They're clearly carrying gifts! <laughs> <laughs> that's why oh, there's right, so many of them. <laughs> What's this ticking sound? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So, yeah, I think... What's what's the thoughts at the table then, right? So, we know Arya's position, right? Arya's position is, kids happy, staying put. That's probably the best outcome. There we go. Let's go for it. Eric's happy to leave the kid as well. From what I remember. you can correct me if, I'm, if I get these assumptions wrong. Yeah, yeah, that's but right. Yeah, right? So that's two people, probably at the same side of the table, happy to do that. You've got Reach who thinks we should maybe take the kid with us. Uh, because what was the main driving force for that decision, Reach? A, I do actually think it could be useful, but B, it's dangerous leaving them anywhere else. Uh, we are the ones who understand them the most. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Uh, then we'll go for Crumbar. You want to take the kid with my, you because you think if the kid gets bopped my, in the head enough, he's going to explode. Uh, yeah, yeah, basically. My logic comes in three parts. One, this is the thing Celeste 
quest that us to find. And you want to take it to the most dangerous place I, on the planet. Yep. Yep. Because <coughs> I want to know it's in my possession. Like, it, it is the, the main driving point. It is what we should keep a hold of. Number two, I think if the king knows, he'll be tracking us somehow and he'll find. And if he finds the kid at the Golden Citadel, fit will hit the shan. And mm -hmm. uh, number three, <laughs> taking the kid to the abyss. It will put the kid in a trial by fire, and we can actually see if that will, you know, make him more, you know, show I mean, 10-year-olds do burn, but yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, 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 he's not actually 10, is he? I mean, he seems to think he's actually 10. Yeah, but did he not say he's been 10 for a long time? Yeah, well, he asked how long, uh... Yeah, how long have you Arya's been 10? has been 10 for, and she's like, I don't know, the normal amount? And he's like, well, obviously, so have I. He doesn't necessarily have a concept of time the way he used to. That's because yeah. the kid is a little <laughs> So <laughs> uh, If he's a black fang spear, yeah, right? Um, yeah. Okay, that's fine. We've got Crumbar's opinion on this, right? We know, we get it. Kitty, where do you fall on this? I mean, I'd rather not have the, the kid with us because he annoys me, but at the same time, <laughs> if we're not going to be coming back, that means the kid's also not coming back. Well, I think Arya's planning on coming back. Also, oh, yeah. so is Reach, technically. I think we all plan on coming back. <laughs> Sophie, Sophie. Do <laughs> Sophie, think of this. Yeah. If the kid annoys us that much, we can feed him to the demons. We can just yeet him into whatever the abyss is. <laughs> right, so see that? There we go, right? There is what I was getting at. Perfect. <laughs> so, Sophie, ding, 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 here's the QI moment. We don't want that, by the way, anyone who's cooperating us. The, um, the vision that every day but Eric got what did we see? The abyss being tore open in front of you and thousands of things coming out. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And you want to take one of the most powerful weapons to that. Interesting. So apparently I just got kicked out of the game. What's that? So apparently I just got kicked out of the game. Actually. <laughs> I'm just loading myself back in, it's fine. Does, does, does that mean we win? <laughs> We've done it. We've reached the impossible goal. GG. <laughs> uh, right, I guess a uh, new campaign, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, so what's... What is the thoughts there then? Kitty. What does Kitty want to do? Because keep in mind that what Sophie might want to do and what Kitty wants to do might be different. Maybe not. No, the same. <laughs> I figured... I figured they might be the same, but there is the possibility uh, they could have been misaligned. It, it's probably best if we keep him with us, because, you know, like the others have said, it's not fair on his friendos if they get, like, you know, attacked by the king and his army, so no. Our, our, our We're friendos. not sure that's going to happen. Well, you don't know it won't. Well, like, what he's telling us, he knows. There's nothing telling us. Like, it, everything is made of assumptions, like Ryan said. Like, we should just keep him here and go to the abyss. It's going to be in so much danger there. Like, can you all protect him? Can we all say, 100%, we can keep him alive? Um, have you seen my hammer? Yes, it misses. <laughs> is anyone here not planning on getting out the abyss alive? <laughs> Some random guy in the background puts his hand up. It's unrelated to the scene, but <laughs> I think his name's Wilhelm. <laughs> I I I kind of I I I think we'll we'll make it out alive. Let, let's go. I don't think all of us will, and I don't want Eremos to be the the one that doesn't. Uh, he's is basically the ultimate weapon. Do you want to leave the ultimate weapon lying around? Can you he activate could, the ultimate weapon? He could very well be the thing that closes the abyss. Yeah. More importantly, could somebody else activate the weapon? So do you want to leave it around for someone else to activate it? Yeah, but can something in the abyss activate it? Don't know. Only it's one way not friendly that. wise. It's moments like this one I really wish we had a way to contact Celeste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crumbar yell, Celeste! 1-800-CELESTE. <laughs> <laughs> also, Reach, you could always, just as another thing, you, this might dawn on you as well, no pun intended, but the uh, you could always ask Blade of the Plains to give Eremos your old room. Like, that's something. Eremos could probably learn to sweep, right? 
Yeah. You can learn to be a monk in there. In, in theory, that's also an option. Not to say you would, yeah. but it's definitely something that is open in case it wasn't thought of. And he trained you. Mm. So he's got to be better than you, right? Is this like uh, Obi-Wan oh. handing off uh, Luke oh. to Yoda? Is that what this is now? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Mm. So, what's the party deciding then? Because keep in mind, your hour is coming to a close. Shall we take a vote? <laughs> I mean, if you all want to type in the Roll20 chat, like, uh, stay or go, but don't, don't send it yet. Just everybody type oh. it, ready to hit enter. Right. Just, right. So, just so that I'm clear, stay means he stays here, go means he goes with us. Yeah, go to the right. abyss, stay at the citadel, right? right? Everybody type it in ready to hit enter, and then we'll do a countdown and everybody can hit it at the one time. Sorry, no what, 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 what? So, How, are what, we actually what? rolling for this? We're not rolling, no. we're just typing in. So, into the Roll20 chat, oh. you're going to write, but you're not yes. going to hit enter to send it. You're just going to write, oh. go to the abyss. Or stay at the Citadel. Go or stay. This is for Ermos's fate. And everybody can just vote okay. this way. And it's probably the quickest, simplest, cleanest way to sure. do it. Sure, sure, sure. And then I'll, I'll tell you all to hit the button at the one time. So just let me know when you've typed your thing and ready to hit enter. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah, ready. ready. Everybody's ready then? Yeah. yeah. Are you? Yep. Go. Mm -hmm. Hit enter. Well then. The goes have it. One, two, yeah. Oh. Mm. It's close and splitting almost, but yeah. Who's gonna break the news thermos that you can't read books in the library? Shit. <laughs> One of you three well, has to go do it. Someone <laughs> promised it before discussing it with the rest of us. <laughs> well, yeah, but you lot just like over. Yeah, over because the that. last time with all yeah, this kind right. of how uh, dangerous it was and everything, I, and I, how I, it's... I, I think I want them to come the most, so I'll go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, funnily well be enough, angry. that's exactly what we were saying. That like, oh, who actually thinks the kids should go to the, oh crumb bar? And we're like, oh, okay. So I, I, that's why I had the conversation because I generally <laughs> thought that he's the only one that actually wants the kid to come with us. <laughs> I thought the rest of us would be a bit more mm -hmm. protective. I so. think I think with that then, right? It's quite a good scene to be like everybody looks at the like each other after the vote. And you all do your, you know, thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you did at the table with everybody's hand in the middle, and then uh, I, uh, wait, wait, uh, be with, calm yourself. Sorry, sorry, I thought that. Was so, the um, you've probably got the look from Arya's face that just stares at the three people that voted that Eremos should go, as if how dare you endanger a child vibe, and I think at that point that's when Crumbar maybe just stands up to go off yeah, to speak. I was gonna... I was gonna say I just stand up and like kind of slam my hand on the table, being like the kid, the kid stays with us, and then I'll storm off to go speak to him. Now, before we click to Crumbar, going to break the news to Ramos, uh, Reach, do you want to while he's doing this go just arrange accommodation for him without clearing it with the high commander, just so that Blade of the Plains will look after him, or do you want to go and speak to the high command? Like, I don't mean you need to speak to him, but you would be the one to speak to Blade of the Plains if that makes sense. Yeah, but hold on, he's coming with us. Mm -hmm. But why does he need accommodation? Because you're going to come back, right? And you're going to want to train him up to be the very best that no one ever was. Pokemon. I was just thinking you could maybe go and do the here's a new recruit from you when he comes back from the abyss as well. Don't be too sad that you don't have any recruits, old man <laughs> blade. Right, follow, yeah, follow Crumbar. That's... You're going to go with Crumbar then, yeah? Yeah, so I need cool. to take him with me anyway. Uh, yeah. Afterwards. Uh, right, cool. So they two leave. Uh, what does everybody else do? Go get your stuff ready to go, I guess. Yeah, I'm shaking fit, my head and like, kind of like, you know how it, well, you, you lean on the table and you kind of like hide your face, like, on your arms. Like, you just go, oh. Mm -hmm. But okay. And then I'm like, okay, um, I need a new plan for Ruya now. Yeah, right. You maybe need to go sort of like... Do they keep yeah. any animals here? Would I have seen yeah. anything? I mean, any... Yeah, remember the camels were taken away at the start by uh, Arnold? Uh, yeah, yeah, but I'm thinking like any like... Yeah, we'll sort of that out, don't worry. Messenger 
pigeons or whatever birds of any kind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, also, uh, Stu, I think I was just like getting like a chapter ahead of myself, perhaps. Um, you were probably you meant yeah. Back, maybe, but so, yeah. Right, but yeah, worry. yeah. We'll skip ahead. So this is the part where Crumbar, you're heading off. I reach. Are you keeping up with him, or are you hanging back, or what's the plan? Going in with him, or are you giving ah. him space to go first? No, I'm giving space. The moment, mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, Crumbar, you go off to like one of the balconies near the rooms that you all have, um, which is where Armos is like, you know. Dylan. Well, no, he's he's got Rui and he's practicing her going away and coming back and various other bird oh, handling maneuvers. I didn't even think, is bird coming with us? No. <laughs> no, that bird will freak out at the abyss. Animals don't yeah. do well at the abyss. Yeah. <laughs> Because they don't belong there, and I did do little kids, but okay. Yeah, no. they, they learned a lot about how the, the land went very bad at the abyss. Which is another uh, reason why they thought, maybe it's a bad place for a ten-year-old. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm. A very good learning opportunity. Yeah, right. Survival well, of the fittest. I, 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 <laughs> I was busy with my glug jug, so... So, yeah. so you approach, uh, you see him on the balcony, and he's kind of like half-leaning way over the balcony as he's kind of like shouting after Ruya into the night. <laughs> hmm. It's very ungraceful. <laughs> yeah, it's a very ungraceful. Um, but like, I, I mean, in theory, if you tipped him over. <laughs> oh, don't put that thought in my head. Okay, I wouldn't. But. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll be arrested. No, 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 no. Crumba, that would be disorder. Scott makes a new character. He's a lawyer <laughs> to defend Crumba. <laughs> Specialises no, in orc law. Cause, cause that, that, would, that would be a dishonorable way to dispatch somebody. Yeah. Um, Speak the fucking ten year old. As I walk in, I just kind of. No, walk know, out technically onto the balcony, yeah. Well, oh, yeah, te- walk out. Um, Eremos, we need to talk. And I think he gets a bit startled to the point where like, he grips like the big marble kind of uh, balcony kind of edge a bit tighter. And he kind of leans back. And he's like, can you shout on Ruya? I just look at him and just take like a deep breath. like, And like the same marketplace kind of shout. Uh-huh. Goes, Bird! <laughs> and he just sits with his hands in his hip. He's like, no, Ruya. Ruya. <laughs> It's a rough. <laughs> I um try to think of something. It's like I normally tend not to name things I plan to eat <laughs> and just laugh. And Aramos just stares like with his mouth open, confused as to how you are. And then uh, I just get I give again a giggle and go, Alright then and then scream back, Ruria. Yeah. And I think at that point like he gets excited and leans over again and is looking and you hear like the kind of bird call and it kind of swoops up uh, and like over the top of the balcony and like goes like above the the building so it's kind of like swooping around uh, mm. and he just seems excited because that's cool <laughs> so he's obviously getting the hang of uh, this bird hey so is the bird just kind of no the bird's no the bird's flying around it's like it's swooped back up towards the balcony because you shouted on it but it's like flew Aww. up and over Check me knowing how to bird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, Aramos, we have had a discussion again as a group. We've decided that you're coming with us on uh, to the abyss. He's like, I thought I could stay. He'll look after Ruya. Ruri is a big bird. It'll be able to look after itself. But what if it can't? Then it's a pretty shitty bird. <laughs> but, oh fuck, I love that kid. But but it's been tamed. You can't... But and he, he, You can see he's getting a bit distressed by this. And not wanting to go. I just I just kind of lean in and give him a grin and go... You can you can never fully tame a wild animal and just grin. <laughs> I think he just looks up at you, like kind of blankly, 
Um, and you can see like he's got his eyes are a bit red at the sides. Um, like that kind of shaking kind of I think he's kind of made like a fist uh, that's shaking a little bit at his side. And uh, he's like, but the library. I was I, I was allowed to read the books. The books will be here when you get back. But but Eric said we would be away forever. He likes to exaggerate. Forever is very very long. It's older than me and you put together. That is true. But don't worry, we're not going away forever. We will be back. When? As soon as we are finished with the problems in the abyss. And I believe that you'll be able to help us. And he, again, he, he looks like he's a... Like, no, no, we were like a kid's clearly upset, so they look like they're about to cry, but they're doing their best because you've kind of said something interesting to them, like the potential for getting ice cream if they don't cry. So they're doing that thing where they're debating whether to go full into crying or maybe it's worth coming out of it. He's got that kind of pending face on him, and he's... um. He's like, I really want to read the books. I don't want to be away. I don't want to go to the abyss. The abyss, nobody comes back from the abyss. I don't want you to go to the abyss. That's just what people read in books. And anyway, is it this? Anyway, were you not wanting to go on an adventure? This is where adve this is what real adventures are going to be like. And he kind of like, it looks out towards the balcony as if he's looking for Ruya, as if he doesn't want to look at you because he might just cry if he's still looking at you. Um, and then he's like, in the library there was um, a bunch of things that Reach and the, the cat lady were looking at and um, they never got finished. People didn't finish those books. Now, when you say they didn't finish them, do you mean that, like... So, let's flash back a bit. Let's flash okay. back a bit to information you now need for this scene. All the most recent kind of uh, writings in the library about the Abyss were all the scheduled expeditions into the Abyss. They were then never finished because nobody ever came back. So there was a whole bunch of, like a whole section of the uh, the abyss part of the library where it goes all the way back to people surveying the land going bad, to the caverns, like the big uh, canyon forming, ley lines mm. breaking, blah, 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 all the way up to the most recent stuff of sending armies, expeditions, explorers, mages, whatever, like paladins, etc. into the abyss. Nobody came back. All so, right, cool. when Eremos ran back up with the group, because he was off on his own adventure in the library, came back to the group and he kind of flicked through a bunch of the stuff on the, the table that they were researching through, he's obviously spotted enough to be like, these haven't been finished. That means people weren't around to finish them. These these are old. D these people died. You know, he's obviously put two and two together and realised this yeah. isn't good. And obviously, he kind of thinks that Eric essentially said they're going to the abyss to die. That's what he has taken from that. <laughs> yes, you got it right then. <laughs> so yeah. Don't sound so happy about that, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I think Callum's happy about it. Oh, Eric is. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yay, murder! So, so yeah, Cromber, like you know enough about the library expedition for that, at least. Mm. So, and just the Golden Order, because half the expeditions were from the Golden Order anyway. People come here first and head in. Yeah. But yeah, none come back. None have filled out the the prerequisite return stamp and Eremos is basically like, I don't want to go, I want to finish books I don't want to be an unfinished book is the gist he's saying to you yeah. and he just looks like he's about to just full on cry I just um, better to be a book than no book at all mm -hmm. <laughs> half a book than no book I just kind of crouch down to kind of no, I'm not going to touch him again because I know mm -hmm. what happened. Like you know, I know. Yeah, I get it. But you're going like you're trying to be like less threatening on his level type yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and just say like, don't worry, we have no intention of dying. And anyway, all those books haven't been finished, which means you would get to be the first one to get to write about all of the stuff that happens there. And anyway, yeah, they didn't have me with them last time. Ha ha ha. Can you roll persuasion? Uh, I can never remember. 
persuasions. It's alphabetical word on that list, by the way. <laughs> right. Oh, is it? Right. Oh. So he's staring at you, and he's a uh, like red eyes. Like there's no tears yet, but like they're all kind of like welling up, and he's looking at you. And as you say this, and like you've said enough to be like, oh, I'm gonna be with you, and you know, people, you know, won't die, etc. You know. Yeah. Loads of things you've said, but at the same time, you've also mentioned the fact that he might be able to write about some stuff nobody else knows about, right? So there's ups and downs yeah, in that. Not all of that's positive for Ermos, because um, he stares at you and he's like, the uh, the captain's wife had you. What do you mean I don't understand? I'm sure you'd have noticed that. He's talking about the boat. So, you were all, like, <laughs> there were three paladins of the Golden Order on that boat, oh, and right, she still yeah. died. Well, I'm not going to be resting this time. <laughs> he looks at the jug hanging from your hand, probably. <laughs> Stick I, just oh. I just stand up. Put the jug behind my back. <laughs> <laughs> Too late though, he's not three. <laughs> yeah, Image ha- permanent. I was gonna say, know? yeah, he's got the object permanence, yeah. Um Yeah, like you definitely haven't done enough to like reassure Eremos in any way. Like he's kinda sat here quite I say sat here, he's standing like on this balcony, like his back's kinda pressed up against the balcony, you know, he seems quite and not intimidated, but he definitely doesn't f- seem comfortable at all. Skittish, you know. He seems uh, like if there was a feasible way for him to have like ran past you, despite the fact that you're huge in front of him, you know. Yeah, he would have done it. Yeah, like there's a good chance you'd have. Bel- He's got the look of someone that would be thinking about it, right? Not to say he will do that, but that's the look you see, and you've had that look before, either when you've been hunting something or someone. Mm-hmm. But he has that look as if. He's looking to bolt, but he's still in the fight or flight paralysis part. But yeah, you've done nothing to reassure the guy. <laughs> Guys, any suggestions? Weirdly, the Weirdly. most competent person to reassure him probably would have been the cat. <laughs> <laughs> but at this point, reach. You've probably been the do- you could have just approached or you can be in the doorway of the Yeah. Uh Elimos, are you glad you're coming with us? As we don't need to split up. Oh. And Ken just looks at you as if when you said Eremos it looked like a bit relieved and as soon as you said are you glad you're coming with us? It just looks sad again. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I don't wanna go. And he just like turns and like grips onto like the the marble uh, kind of like banister behind him for the balcony as if he's trying to look for Ruya but obviously he's just wanting to have his back to you guys uh, we've came so far it'd be a shame to split the group up in the last last day pretty much before reaching a destination I think he turns around to you and he's like but maybe if I stay here, you'll come back. We'll be coming back anyway. In fact, I've got a friend I'd like you to meet when we come back. He kind of like screws up his face as if he doesn't know if he's being tricked. And uh, <laughs> he's like, I don't want to go, but I don't want to not be with you guys, but I don't want to go. I. Uh- I've got a feeling, by the way, see, just metagaming here, we put ourselves. I think uh, God really doesn't want the child to go. <laughs> but, uh, oh, like there's, anyway. it's it's more to do with w- what's happened. This kid's just been told he can stay in one of the best libraries he's ever seen. Why would yeah. he ever want to go into the place nobody comes back from? Yeah. Yeah, right, back in the character. Mm-hmm. Uh, my friend's the one who taught me everything. In fact, he, I met him when I was younger than you, uh, well, not much younger than you probably, uh, and he taught me everything that I know. Um, and I was brought up here with the library and 
everything else and there's is, a chance you could have the same. Is he going to the abyss? No. So he'll be here waiting for us coming back, so that's why I'm definitely coming back. He kind of like screws up his eyes and he's staring at the floor and he's like, why not? And he looks back at you. Almost he's like accusingly. Got, <laughs> yeah, he's got work to do here. He screws up his face a bit like he's like, hmm. <laughs> and he's like, hmm. I think he just turns around at that point. Like, I don't think he really has anything else to really add because he's, he's not winning this. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's trying to find ways out of it, but he's a 10 year old kid. Do you know what I mean? His. His arsenal is limited to what he can use, um, and I think maybe like after like maybe ten seconds of like awkward silence, unless any of you break the silence, he he's like you just hear him say, "Someday I'll need to look after Ruya." There's animal handlers here. They'll be able to look after Ruya. Well, and Ruya will be with other birds as well. So Ruya should do quite well. Plus, also, Rhea can look after herself, but we'll, we'll, she'll have help. And then I think, as you say that, like that's the part where like it kind of like almost gets stroppy, and he turns and goes, "Rhea's been tamed." And then he kind of like he goes to like walk between like you and Crumbar, and then as like Crumbar's probably still like hunched down, uh, and as he walks past, and he's like just like Crumbar, and like pushes Crumbar a bit, as if like stroppily. Like pushes into him, but obviously doesn't move him at all because Crumbar's a massive orc, and uh, he kind of like goes to like leave the balcony as if he's heading towards his room. Like stroppy child has lost the battle type vibe. Uh, to be fair, and he has just kind of called Crum <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say he's called him like tamed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, I think he said he can't look after himself, maybe as well. So. Aye, <laughs> uh, so he kind of like storms away. Probably to yeah. grab his stuff, right? Let's face it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Two seconds. I'm just thinking about something. Mm. Well, we can cut away and come back if you want. It's time for a break, anyway, isn't it? Mm. Nah. In fact, I'm just gonna let. I just. I'm not happy with him saying, "I'm tamed." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you go after him or? Mark in his face. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So Can I? No. Use... <laughs> so you know how I've got searing smite. Um, no. Right. Extreme Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. You get searing so... smite. I'm aware of this. This is a thing you have. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna use that on my hand, on my hands, and just like punch them together. So it's like a gives off a kind of like flash of fire. You only use a spell slot for that. So it's use a spell slot, well, and you, you would need to wait, wait, you would need to hit yourself with a melee attack weapon. I'm assuming that we're going to rest up to get my spell slots back before we leave. Nope. No, we're leaving in, in a, under Less, an hour. You're basically right, leaving okay. in about like 15 minutes, I. <laughs> okay, change your plan. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, you have a think about that plan, right? And I think um, we have Erin will slam the room door I, and we'll, we'll take our break there and we'll come back in 10 minutes and we'll, we'll do part two then, which will be like the departure, I guess. I, and you can have a think about what you might want to do at the start of a part two. Uh, we'll see everybody in part two, I guess. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.